Hello everybody, Double J101 back with another trading card game opening. We have Rivals of Exelon bundle box pack thing. What used to be called a fat pack now is a bundle, including 10 booster packs inside here. So let's go ahead and get it cracked open. Hopefully we can get something good. All right, as stated before, there are 10 booster packs in here. A lot of other hoopla inside this box, not really worth it, but hey. A lovely blue and white die. I don't think I have that color yet. All right, let's go ahead and do these five first. I get past the commons to the uncommons. All right, first we have Jungle Creeper. Swift Warden, Resplendent Griffin, and ooh, right away, Mythic, what is up, the Immortal Sun, six mana for a legendary artifact. We have players can't activate Planeswalker loyalty abilities. At the beginning of your draw step, draw an additional card. Spells you cast cost one less to cast, and creatures you control get plus one, plus one. And a mountain and an element token, nice, quick. Good, quick and good. That's how I like it. Let's hope we can just, hopefully we can uh, keep this going. I like it when we get good pulls right away. As long as it doesn't spoil the rest of the box. All right. So first we have strength, the strength of the pact, blazing hope, swift warden again, and temple, Altasar. Five mana dinosaur. If a source would deal damage to another dinosaur you control, prevent all but one of that damage. Not too shabby. Not as good as the first, but that's okay. Can't always win as much as I would like to. Pack three. All right, uncommon. We have Stony Quarry, Forerunner of the Legion. Majestic Heliotoparus. And a rare of Silent Gravestone. One mana cost for a artifact. Cards in the graveyard can't be targeted. Spells or abilities. Four and tap. Exile Silent Gravestone. And all cards from all graveyards. Draw a card. Ooh, and a foil Sailor of the Beans. Put the foil on the side as well. Pack four. All right, on to the uncommons. First, we have Curious Obsession, Merfolk Mist Binder, Famished Paladin, and our rare is Radiant Destiny. Three mana cost enchantment with Ascend. As Radiant Destiny enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures you control of that creature type get plus one, plus one. As long as you have the city's blessing, they also have vigilance. Ooh, and another foil, nice. We have Silver Gill Adapt. And some land and other good stuff behind it. So have you guys opened much Rivals of Exelon? I hear it's not too bad. I've drafted it one time and it kind of went okay. Did a dinosaur white red deck. Not too... Not the greatest of dinosaur decks, but hey, it worked for what it was. Uncommons, here we go. We have Forsaken Sanctuary, Forerunner of the Empire, Shake the Foundations, and our rare is Siege Horn Ceratops. Two mana cost dinosaur with Enrage. Whenever Siege Horn Ceratops is dealt damage, put two plus one plus one counters on it. And a dino token. Move that around. Go on to the uncommons for this next pack. Here we go. Sneak peek of everything I'm just about to talk about. Forerunner of the Heralds. Riverwise Agur. Sadistic Sky Marcher. And our rare is. Dire Fleet Poisoner. 
two mana human pirate with flash death touch. When Dire Fleet Poisoner enters the battlefield, target attacking pirate you control gets plus one plus one and gains death touch until end of turn. Ooh, and a foil forest. You know, these, these boxes are actually going pretty cheap on TCG Player. Just about 31 bucks instead of going to the store and spending about 45 on these. So, not a bad time to pick up things like that if you were to, you know, open boxes instead of just getting your, uh, your singles you like. So, pretty good deals. We have Sky Marcher Aspirant, Charging Tuscadon, Arterial Flow, and our rare is Form of the Dinosaur for six mana enchantment. When Form of the Dinosaur enters the battlefield, your life total becomes 15. At the beginning of your upkeep, Form of the Dinosaur deals 15 damage to target creature and opponent controls, and that creature deals damage equal to its power to you. Not exactly playable, especially in the formats I play. Uncommons. We have Forsaken Sanctuary, Forerunner of the Empire, Shake the Foundations. I feel like I just had this pack. And our rare is Sphinx's Decree for two mana sorcery. Each opponent cat can't cast instants or sorcery spells during that player's next turn. And a Vampire token. We have two packs left, looking for something good here. Rekindling Phoenix, maybe? I would prefer that. All right, Stormfleet Swashbuckler, Atzokan Seer, Shake the Foundation. Almost got a whole place out of that today. And hey, there we go, another Mythic. Time Stream Navigator for two mana human pirate wizard with a sin. We have an ability of Four mana and then tap. Put time speed, time stream navigator on the bottom of its owner's library. Take an extra turn after this. Activate this ability only if you have the city's blessing. Okay, okay. Two mythics, not too bad. Last pack. Beat it up a little bit. There we go. We're getting our third mythic in this pack, I hope so at least. Let's go to the uncommons. All right. Cheshired Hatchling. Raging Regisaur. Daring Buccaneer. And our rare final rare of the box is... Tinder Shoot Dryad. A five mana Dryad with a sin. At the beginning of each upkeep, create a 1-1 green sapperling creature token. Sapperlings you control get plus two, plus two, as long as you have the city's blessing. So overall, not too bad of a box. I got two mythics. Pretty happy about that. Didn't get what I was looking for, but that's okay. Still had fun opening this box for you. Like always, if you enjoy my content, please like, subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching.